Hi there, this is the Queen and Rook Knight Fork trap in the Scandinavian. It will probably go down as an intermediate level trap. It's quite nifty really, and I'm surprised it hasn't been played more often. After e4, d5 of the Scandinavian, white captures, and queen takes on d5. The immediate knight c3 hitting the queen, and the queen moves over to a5. d4 establishing a pawn in the centre, and knight f6. Knight f3 allows bishop g4, pinning the knight on f3. So bishop e2 unpinning, and knight c6. Black has played this extremely aggressively rapid development and black is going to be castling long and then trying to play e5 in the center. After white plays bishop e3 supporting the d4 pawn, I think I had this exact position against a very talented British junior called Alan Merry at the Golders Green rapid play in which I was extremely lucky to get anything out of this opening. I went on to win it, but I put it down to luck. So after black castles, there's a very interesting try here by white. And this is the one I'm surprised hasn't been played too often. Knight to d2. It's immediately threatening to trade bishops, or here to win a bishop. But black might feel he can win a pawn after bishop takes on e2. The white queen now is off that d file, but the d4 pawn is hanging. And if black goes for that pawn with knight takes, bishop takes, rook takes, white's got this knight b3 fork on the queen and on the rook. White's doing pretty well. Quite amazing, really, that the f of the few players who fell for this trap, not one of them and including a 2,240 player, not one of them managed to see the best continuation here for black, which certainly gives black chances, and that is the continuation. Queen takes on c3, followed by b takes c3, and rook e4 is going to win back the queen for black, with only minimal advantage for white. So this has been the Queen and Rook Knight Fork Trap in the Scandinavian. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.